arrived at the car park now, what is it, 8 o'clock? Yeah, 10 to 8. Yeah, got up at quarter to 5 and fucked around at home for a couple of hours, but we're here now. <laughs> and um, it's a pretty good day for it. Well, pretty cloudy at the moment, but it's meant to clear up, so we'll have a nice cool walk in. Pretty fresh. In nice for fresh day up. Nice fresh snow up there. Yeah, quite a bit of snow up high, so we've got three nights in here, four days, looking for a good bull for Willie, and then... If he gets a real good one he's happy with, and I see one that's really good as well, we'll go for it. But we're not really going to go for anything under 13 inches, or if we see an old, mature, like 10 year old good, that's good looking a bit of character, yeah, like Willie will Perfect. be happy to pull the Perfect. trigger on that too. Yeah. But yeah, so no, nah, should be good. We've got about 24 k's ahead of us, so try and take a couple shortcuts on the way. Yeah, the river's up a bit at the moment, so we probably won't be crossing the river too much if we can avoid it, but we'll definitely cross it if we have to, maybe further up, a bit closer to the headwaters, but yeah, should be bloody good. Oh well, see you soon. Yeah, 5k's in, 10 past 9, so we're quarter of the way. Quarter of the way. Not even quite quarter. Yeah, about a quarter of the way maybe, depending on what shortcut we take. All going good? Quick re refill from the old camelback. And we're heading up and over there. Oh, there's a lake behind there full of trout too. But we're not going to head that way. This time the track actually goes up and around there and over. But we're just going to straight up the guts. It's about a 300 metre altitude climb so not too much of a major. And 600 down the other side to the hut. <coughs> Oh well, we've come a fair way now, from right down that river, you can see where the road goes, you probably can't in the GoPro, but about 8 k's, we're at the base of the hill, about to get up and over that, then <laughs> it's smooth sailing down to the hut. How are you feeling Willie, all good? Yeah mate, awesome. Fuck no. Looking forward to getting there. Yep. Oh. Just about there Willie. It's pretty icy up here. Luckily we can get through it. Have a couple hundred metres altitude climb. Then down the other side. Beauty day for it. A bit of snow up the top here as we're cruising along the track. Then we head down the other side, nearly at the top now. Another 500 meters to go. Head down the other side, zigzag down to the hut. Stopping for lunch, quarter past twelve. Some bloody salmon cream cheese sammies. Fucking lots of ice, lots of ice. No snow up here, so we're gonna have to be real careful with where we tent, where we walk, pretty much everything. Pretty high risk of avalanches, so just having lunch, filling up on some electrolytes, sammies, and we'll be a wagon. She's a little bit icy. Well, he's just skiing down. <laughs> Beauty. So back down to the riverbed we go. Head up along those river flats. Probably cross the river a few times and try and head as far upstream as possible. Set up a base and spice some tar and then go from there. Good plan. Good plan. Good plan. 
It's got a few river crossings to navigate. They don't look like much, but there's a fair bit of power in these bloody rivers. It's always good to unclip your belt and your bag as well. Before crossing a river. There's a big rock here. Strong link, link. <laughs> That's quite strong there. Yeah, no doubt. Might need to pick a bit of a shallow spot next time. Oh, <laughs> navigating a few river crossings now. It's nice and braided here. So pretty easy to make our way over. Still not easy, but definitely a hell of a lot better. Some pretty bloody wicked country now. There's a bit of a deer trap down there. I fenced it off. And then at the end there, a bit of a funnel. Yeah. Fuck, we're in some good country now, will they? Tar everywhere. Hell of a bluff there, bro. You wouldn't want to go off there. River's definitely getting a lot more easier to cross as long as we can get down there from here. It's looking pretty steep. There's actually another big deer trap down there. Squirrel. Oh no, it's not a deer trap, it's a horse paddock. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're just setting up camp now. Willie's on the tent and we're just having a glass around. It's still only 4 o'clock, so we've got another few hours of light. Should start seeing a bit of movement in the next hour or so. But we're seeing it 1200 meters here. Hopefully, we're high enough, but we'll have a look around and suss out where all the animals are and go from there. They're probably at about 1200 yards at the moment, so definitely not shootable. Yeah, wait we'll and see what happens. I'll chuck the camera on them and have a look. Four bull tar, two mature ish, two immature. Doesn't look like our bull we're after is in that lot though. So we'll keep looking a bit higher and see what else comes down. Alright, so we're just sitting here looking around. And Willie managed to spot with his naked eye about three kilometers away footprints in the snow and I was like looking at it shit that's wide zoomed in on it about 20 odd bull tar has just ran down the mountain I managed to count nine of them and the scariest thing is they're all mature bulls so well he's definitely going to be in for a chance for tomorrow so tomorrow our mission will be heading packing up heading down here heading right back up to that flat over there setting up somewhere there and just wait for them to come down to us tomorrow evening at about this time of the day. Man. 
that'll probably tie it up for the video for the day. No tar down today, but we know what we've got to do tomorrow, so a bit of a mission ahead of us. Wander up and over there, wait for them to come down. Ideal. Bit of whiskey as a nightcap. Gotta have it. Oh, Kia's. Kia's? Mm. They fly around at night time. You can hear it. Yeah. Right, so it's the morning of day two. Sun's on its way up. We're gonna have a quick look around with the spotting scope and binos and see if there's anything nearby. And then um, we're probably gonna go with that plan to hit across the flat, down, up the other side, round the back of the flat and camp at the base of the mountain over there and wait for that big mob of bulls to come down again tonight. So I've just been glassing all over the place this morning. Spotted a big red stag right at the top of there. And that one antler is probably, it would have been either a 10 or 12 pointer maybe. So get you guys a bit more action we're going to head right up here this morning get right up to the base the basin up there see what's about up there hopefully we see a good tar or chamois or deer red stag and then we're going to come back out to here pack up camp head across there down up the other side and to the base of where those bull tar all come out last night and wait for them and hopefully bloody manage to bowl one of them over too so it's a beautiful day up here not too cold, barely even a frost this morning. Pretty lucky. What do you reckon, Willie? Good, Fucking ideal. Check some more clips here. Yeah. Man. Our water source, Willie made. Right, yeah. Dug out a bit of it. Sharing this out and dam. A little bit of more clear, nice clean water coming out of the mountain. Yep. Get the job done. Make do with what we got. Probably coming from that snow up there. So we're just filling up the water about a hundred meters into our walk and we spotted eight bulls just up here on the snow and ice. So we're looking through them but not seeing anything really worth shooting just yet so We just keep looking at them and hopefully there's that one big bull following them but who knows they're definitely not as mature as the bulls that come out over there but they'll be around for sure we just head up this valley and hopefully something big's at the end of it the bulls are out today five bulls still coming in We've seen over 20 bulls now, eh? Halfway up the valley now. Just gonna head up to that point, good vantage point, pull the spotting scope out. Look up both of the valleys. Lots of fresh tracks and stuff over here, so. Now up. just at the top of this Scree River, just sitting just above the first bluff, so put the spot on and see what it looks like. There's a couple more younger bulls. Got decent horns on them though, but Just come up the valley and spied those four bull tar. They're all like 10 or 11 inches. One of them is probably 12 or 12 and a half, maybe, judging by its horns. But um, we've seen enough up here, so we're probably going to head out and go with our mission and go set up camp on the other side of the river and wait for the big mob to come down and 
pick one out of them hopefully, a bit more to choose from, hopefully there'll be a good one in there, they all look like pretty good mature bulls, so should be pretty good, eh? We decided to whistle at the tar, just to see how they'd react, and if anything else would come out of the scrub. Oh no, the bottom one got up. Did it? Yeah. <whistles> They're up and about now. Yeah. Your head's thrown out from everywhere now. Yeah. They're all in the frame now. <laughs> that top one's still just sitting down. Oh well, got them moving. Oh yeah, there they go. Sort of. <laughs> One still sitting down. <laughs> oh no, they're up now. They're off, bro. Yeah. No. Not really. I mean, I have this cruise. Three young bulls. If you look down the bottom right of the screen, you'll see the more mature bull come into the frame. We assessed him and put him at around 5 years old or 12 inches. Not quite the bull Willie was after, but not a bad bull nevertheless. Making our way back down now. We're pretty much bang on in line where we're going to be sitting waiting for those bulls to come down. He's off. <laughs> right, so we're all packed up and it is hot today. Like it should be twenties. I reckon the river's gonna be up a bit when we head back up and over. But we're gonna go do it once more. Should be all good. Ideally you'd do it in the morning but We've had a good look up here, we went about 2.8 k's up there, checked around, a few bulls, even nannies, but just younger bulls, as you saw in the video before, that we scared them off with whistling, <laughs> just to see what they'd do, but um, yeah, so we're going to head down, up and over, camp over there, the bulls will come down that hill tonight, hopefully, so we'll camp over the, towards that way, because we go back up and out that way, so it'll mean less distance to carry the tent and stuff out tomorrow if that's what we choose to do but um yeah the weather's meant to be pretty average tomorrow no rain but just cloudy so that'll affect it a fair bit and um sunday's looking like rain so hopefully it should be a yeah. Yeah. Rain? Rain. Let's do it. Let's do it.